What's up guys, this is Copper here, aka 996 Ajax, and welcome back to episode 2 of Mafia 3. In the last episode we found out that the Haitians are actually all behind us. Now we gotta find Barker. I mean in Japanese Barker does mean idiot, so could be he could be an idiot. Alright, that guy's coming around. And kill this guy straight away. Yes I can. Don't look it. Oh damn it, he found me! Do you find me? Oh shit! Oh shit! Now you're shooting me. So far for going stealth. I mean, so much for going stealth. How many rounds does it take to kill him? I am in combat. That's I am in combat. We got there. Boom! Right in the head. There's a guy right there. I'm running out of ammo. I got six bullets left. They're all coming now, I presume. Can I hide here? Is that possible? Can I just hide here for the rest of the game? And not do a thing about it? You know what, I want to go stealth, so I'm just going to restart the checkpoint. I actually want to do this stealth here. I right, fucked up a little there. Alright, they're going to split now. As he has his back turned, I'm going to quickly take out this guy over here. Alright, let's do it really quickly. Alright, he's going to turn around now. So I'm going to hide behind here. Hopefully he doesn't see the body. There's another guy way to my right. That's all I know. Alright, so he's gonna look out here. He's gonna be completely blind to the body as I go up and stealth kill this guy. Alright, so I got more ammo from him. Let's. What's this pistol? Oh, I'll take this pistol. Guy right here. Let's move up and kill this guy. Boom! Alright. That's it, I guess. Can we go up there? Is it possible? No, it's not possible to go up there. Alright, let's. Oh shit. Did we trap ourselves down here? No, we, ha we haven't. Have we? No, we haven't. We can't climb up. Now we can. Oh god, there's a lot of guys. It's down here. Oh. It's another passageway. So I can go out there. Through the water. Which what? That's what. Oh wait, no. It's another way in. Okay, so. So we have to go through here. So they're talking right now. Let's sneak past them. Should have killed that old man around. Right, so we hold delete to whistle. That's so far away. I have no understand what no understanding why the keys are so far away. Ask him to come down on us. That cracker asshole don't give a shit about some worn out nigger. Long as the money's coming in, Marcano don't care who's handing it to him. Alright, someone's walking away. Let's whistle him over here. Hmm? Alright, that got his attention. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, and... Where's the queue? Right now! 
he got knocked out like that. So that's it. Nothing in here. Go take out this other guy. I love how he just reaches in, pulls the guy over. Oh god, there's a lot of guys. Inside over here. Oh, this ain't good, there's a guy over there. What's he singing? It's whistling. Oh no, there's another guy that's coming. He's over there. Alright, let's see what we're gonna do. We're gonna. So he's turning around. I'm gonna wait for him to walk away a little while. No, too far away. Not too far away. No, I didn't mean for you to take cover there. He's coming over here. Shit. Oh, too close. It's gonna be too close. He's not one of us. Boom. That was too close. Pick him up quickly. There we go. How do we throw? Drop body. There we go, dropped him. Right, another one's coming. Whistle them over here as well. Huh? That's pretty awesome. Ladder. Alright, let's climb up. Alright. What's that green arrow there? What's that green arrow in the minimap? Right, let me zoom in here. There's a green arrow in the minimap. What is that? I have no idea. Don't look up here. Let's jump down. Oh shit. Oh, that was close. I will look over here. Oh my god. They're actually quite smart, the AI. Even though they're separate, they're actually quite smart. This one right here we can take out. Guys by himself. Now where are these guys? It's a cool one over here. He's coming. Oh shit! He turned around. 
get him before he comes around the corner. Oh, that was smoothly done. Oh shit. Here he comes, here he comes. Huh? Uh oh. Ooh! I thought he saw me for a second. He just saw the body. That's it. And there's one last guy over here. Let's take him out as well. bunch of them down there which I can't get. Alright, so let's go in here now. Why isn't he dying? I'm shooting him in the head. Oh, what's this? E. Fuck you! Who Fuck you! You made a big mistake going after the hollow. The man you're talking about took me in when I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you. You can't take those shoes! You fucking pig! Damn you to her! Take it easy! Take it easy! Take it easy! He kept me in there, locked in there, day and night. Beat me, used me. I killed you, motherfucker! You and your entire goddamn family! He's dead! He's dead! He can't hurt you anymore. It's over. 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 <laughs> this is never going to be over. Pajam! Fucking Haitian. Where'd she run off to? Oh, Molotovs. Oh god, they're shooting in here. Take our guns out. Oh god, Molotovs! So the weasels, you hold G and release by. Alright, so G is to do that. So select the explosives in the weapon menu by pressing Z. Okay, let's do that. The explosives, take cover. We will throw it over there by the car. Oh, there we go, that was pretty good. Is that the last of them? That's everyone. And for your information, I am playing on um, medium difficulty. So I'm not cheating or anything. Oh, another molly. Too. Another molly. And another one. Is that it? Well, I'll take this pistol. You don't mind me? Oh shit. Still after me, eh? Ooh, he threw the he threw the molly on himself. Someone here. Head must have fucking cut some sick. Right, let's not run out of ammo here. Let me pick up this gun. I need another one. I'm 
running out of ammo in this one as well. What do you know? Might as well switch over to the pistol in this case. Oh my god, look at all the blood that's on the ground. It looks so realistic. Oh, he got run over. All right. Oh, don't run me over. Alright, so are we driving? Yes, we are. Came to an understanding. He stayed dead, and I'd let him. Let's get back to Sammy's. Can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. And this shit with the Haitians has been weighing on him. And with them out the way, things are Ooh, got too fast. Go back to the way. Hey, man, be careful. Anyway, as I was saying, with them out the way, things will calm down. Go back to the way they should be. Been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops, he. I don't know. Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't rush on violence don't mean he lost something. I know, just makes me wonder what happens after, you know? No, I don't know. Explain it to me. Don't matter if it's a bullet or the hand of God. We all go sometime, right? I suppose. But Ellis, we don't need to talk about I pray that Pops outlives the both of us. But if he doesn't, every motherfucker in the hollow is going to be looking to us or gunning for us. Just saying we gotta be ready when that day comes. Yeah, well that's not something we gotta worry about right now. So just cool it with your grand plans, alright? Yeah, alright. Oh, I love this car. I really do. There's, there's a reason why they call it the Drifter. It does drift, uh, it does handle exceptionally well. Oh god, that's so bright. What is that? Sunlight? Oh, I didn't see him. Oh my god. I saw that so late. Alright, we're back. Into the garage we go. The thing Lankin didn't understand. Or maybe want to understand. Is that for a man like Sammy, there's always gonna be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going in. That's how Lincoln ended up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. It won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, right after the news, they show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper. Watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the well. Sooner or later, I pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, what are we gonna do about Marcano? Pay him his goddamn money one way or the other. Lottery gonna be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him up the country club. Says he's got something in the works. Square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there to help. Now, they may not like it, but they're not gonna say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. I always did want to see the inside of that place. 
You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our sakes. Yes, sir. Alright, so time to make a change. I guess we're going to our car again. Alright, so for more realistic driving experience, advanced players way want to play using simulated driving. Alright, let's go do that. Simulated driving. Oh, didn't mean to set my waypoint there. So where was it? It was on the game settings. Driving mode. Simulation. Alright, so let's reassign our waypoint, which is not over there, but over... Where? How do we move the map? I have no idea where we're meant to go. Single objectives, new board oaks. Alright, we're going there. I think we set our waypoint, yep, we have. Yeah, let's go. What's this? Okay, there we go. The map updated itself. Alright, so I'll be driving there. Um, I won't, I try not to cut out any of the um, rides in between because I want you guys to experience the feel of the city with me. Even if it means that I'm not talking, I'm just letting it go in silence because uh, what you guys? Oh, jeez! What you guys to experience to see the same way as I do? Because this place is pretty big, and if you don't explore it like that, then you probably won't, unless there's like some sort of thing going around in the non-story mode. So yeah, I'm gonna drive over there. Usually there'll be a dialogue, but this time we're driving by ourselves, so there's no dialogue. So I'll see you guys there in just a moment. I had to drive on so long, we have arrived here. Oh. Oh, gee. That was not good to talk to security. Alright, so right here. The fuck you doing up here? Help goes into the back. I'm, uh, I'm here to see Mr. Marcano. The name's Lincoln Clay. That a fact? I'll be goddamned. Mind your manners while you're in there, boy. Or there'll be hell to pay, you hear? Park over to the side. Alright, that's time to meet Georgie. Wait. Oh yeah, this is a flashback. I forgot about that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Lincoln Clay! Christ, man, get a look at you! I let those fucking gook shit themselves when I saw you coming. 
been a long time, Georgie. Oh, no shit, it's been a long time. I think the last time I saw you was that night over in the French ward, right before you shipped out. <laughs> Damn, if that wasn't a gas. Oh, I seem to remember me and Ellis running from the cops, uh, and Danny ending up in the drunk tank. Hell, man, I bailed him out. Besides, it was worth it to knock the hell out of them cracker assholes. <laughs> Smoke? Sure. <laughs> oh, man. Sammy said Mr. Marcano wanted to see me. Mr. Marcano? Shit. Make him sound like a goddamn lawyer. You just call him Sal. Come on, he's in the back. <laughs> I should have wore something else. Hey, these squares have a problem with Joe Trez. Take it up a mild man. He'll tell him to kiss his ass. <laughs> nice thing about having fuck you money. Olivia, I hate to cut this short, darling, but I've got a meeting coming up. Remy, a pleasure as always, sir. Two more glasses. <laughs> Lincoln, good to see you. This is Vito Scaletta. <gasps> He's the one I've been telling you about. Vito! Come on, Lincoln, sit down. So you served in Vietnam, huh? Yes, sir. Sal tells me uh, you earned a few pieces of tin over there. Well, I served with some good men. Nothing I did would have happened without them. Army? Marines? Regular army at first, and then I was recruited to the 5th SFG. Special Forces. I told you it was something else. Now, not that anything's gonna go wrong, but just in case, goddamn, don't you want a man like that on your side? Well, if you're vouching for him, Sal, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Look, I got a couple things to take care of. Thanks for the drink. Christ, that guy's an asshole. <laughs> Fucking carpetbagger. Commission sent him down here from Empire Bay about 15 years back. He's been a pain in my goddamn ass ever since. Well, I guess you're wondering what this is all about. Yeah, Sammy didn't tell me too much. Twice a year, the feds take old money out of circulation and destroy it. Over the course of the next few days, that money's gonna be delivered here to the reserve in town. And you're gonna hit one of those shipments? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. We are gonna use that occasion to gain access to their vault. And then steal everything that ain't nailed down. <laughs> Should be six, seven million in there? Easy. That's, that's pretty fucking ballsy. <laughs> it's a chance of a goddamn lifetime is what it is. Now, Vito's fronting a lot of the money for the job, and he got us the combination to the vault. Hey, you had a chance to see Danny? No, not yet. Oh, well, you will. We brought him and his old man in on this, and they're gonna need your help, so go see them. They ain't still in that same place. There's something else we gotta talk about. Now, it's safe to assume you know about the problem Sammy's been having. I took care of the Haitians. Once things settle down, money will start coming in again. You see that right there? That's what I'm talking about. You didn't sit around with your thumb jammed in your ass. You saw a problem, you went out and took care of it. God damn, I take that over money any day of the week. We pay our own way, debts and all. Always have. Oh, hell, son, I know that. I wouldn't expect otherwise. But you know, even after we all evened up, you're still gonna be slopping around in the ass end of this city. Not much of a future in that. But maybe there's a different way forward, you understand? For all of us. What'd you have in mind? I want you to know I mean no disrespect when I say this. Sammy's a hell of a man, but he's not getting any younger. And I'm thinking it's time to make a change. Well, I don't think that Ellis is ready for that kind I'm of not stuff. talking about Ellis. I'm talking about you. I want you to run the holler. <laughs> I can't do that. Well, look here, if you're worried about Sammy, don't, you understand? Now, he's always been on the level with me. And this job we're talking about, there's more than enough for him to retire on. He took me in when I had nowhere else to go. Treated me like a son. I'm sorry, Mr. Marcano, I, I can't do that to him. Well, shit, son. I'd be lying if I didn't say I wasn't just a little disappointed. But I get it. You're loyal, which is something that is scarce these days. Do you still want me to help with this thing we've been talking about? 
<laughs> you goddamn right I do. <laughs> and when it's all done, you all be more than square with me. You have my word. <laughs> what do you really want to hear? That we kidnap and torture anyone suspected of working with the BC? I'm trying to ascertain the level of training that Lincoln Clay received during his time in Vietnam. Someone like that, you don't need to train. You point them in the right direction, you get the fuck out of their way. And we're back here. But I'm going to end the episode there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Mafia. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll catch you guys next time with more Mafia videos. Peace out.